G'day everyone, the decoration is done and I got around the problem with the kit's decals. This is the third update video of the 1966 Honda Formula One car, 1 12th scale kit from Tamiya. The next video will be of the completed model, but all of the progress in between and a lot more detail than what I'm putting in these videos is being posted to the blog. So if you jump over to wixie500.com and either click current projects, or if this has been finished by the time you see the video, go and search for it in the build diary archive. So what's happened since last time? Well, the main monocoque was pretty much done, but it didn't have any paint on it. So thankfully all the body parts have now been painted, decaled and cleared. Originally the kit decals were just no good for the, the red and the, the black here. So I ordered some aftermarket product and uh, there were some issues with that, which I've got on the blog, but I ended up going and masking off and spraying the red on both the monocoque as well as the um, part of the, the flag circle on the uh, on the top and the nose cone and then use aftermarket decal for the black pinstriping which is a little bit thick but i was i wasn't game to cut it down in fear of uh, of damaging the decal and all the numbers and the Ginther and Honda etc um, were all of the aftermarket decals which ended up going down really well and then they've just had a quick coat of mr color top coat Gloss Premium, I think it was. I only did the one clearing session and I haven't bothered to polish this because the real car was um, not overly glossy and was a bit of a rough finish as well. Not rough, but not a refined, detailed finish like uh, you see in Formula One these days. So once the decals and the clear had gone on this, it's then moving into the assembly stage. So I had to get the brake and clutch reservoirs and actuating arms put in here after the fact the kit calls for these to be put into this uh, front bulkhead part and then assembled in the model but i did it around a different way which caused some issues because there's not a lot of clearance to get everything in there but it ended up fitting okay uh, in the end i've also put a little bit of wash in a few of the panel lines here i'm not sure whether it's uh, a bit of overkill i haven't done all of them yet and also a little bit in the engine bay most of this is all going to be hidden once the engine goes in. Also, the dashboard is in, fuel pumps and the rear bulkhead, etc. The seat will go in there, just, to, just drops in. So uh, the next part on this is to get the front bulkhead to go on here, which is this component. And uh, then the steering and suspension can go and hang off that. And depending on how we go, hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue, but there might need to be some adjustments made because of the fact that the two sides of the cockpit or the, the two sides of the monocoque are offset. And therefore, this is actually out of square, which is my fault as part of the assembly. So uh, as long as we can get the bulkhead and the front suspension hanging off the front of this, OK, the rest of the build in theory should be pretty straightforward. Most of the other parts are done. Just get that out of the way. These are all the, the body colour parts, obviously the nose cone and this piece that uh, sits on the, the monocoque. But the mirrors here need, need the mirror material actually dropped in. But um, all of the body colour parts there are, um, are done. There's also a whole bunch of suspension parts here that are mostly done. Uh, as I said in the previous video, I'm leaving the, the plating on these and just uh, hand painting some of the fittings. and the bolts or the, nut, the adjustment nuts I should say on these to um, give them a little bit more of a realistic fitting and I'll probably put a bit of wash on these at the end. But that's pretty much all of the, um, well, most of the suspension parts here and still need to assemble and paint up the, uh, the rear uprights. But not much more left to do there. In fact, there's not a lot left to go at all. The only parts that have not really been started are the exhausts. And uh, I'll get into that uh, That's the as the sort of the final part of this build. Another big thing that was completed was the wheels and tyres. So these have been painted with smoke clear, several coats to get the... Uh, the colouring I wanted just straight over the uh, the plating that was on the the rims originally, and then the brake discs have been put in. Now the the discs don't have calipers as such. Um, there is a, a caliper that's part of the hub that will fit on this side, but there's no caliper to be seen through the rim. So rather unrealistic. The tyres are very good despite their age. 
and went on fine, but they, they don't sit right up against the rim. They haven't popped out on the beads. And of course, I can't uh, pump air into them <laughs> to pop them out. So when they first went on, there was a big gap, but over time, those tyres have sort of expanded out and filled out on the rim a little bit further, which uh, now they're not looking too bad at all. And the tyres have had a bit of a very light sanding just to get rid of the seam line that was on there. Tyre valve is cast into the part. The engine here, uh, there's been no addition to that. That was all covered in the previous video, so I won't go into that any further. If you want to see what happened with that, look up the previous video. And then in this box here, there's just a number of other parts. If I get this organised. This is most of the other parts of the kit that have not yet been assembled. So there's uh, the steering wheel, the fire extinguisher, need to have a bit more work to finish those off. Uh, but a lot of this here has been sitting in here partially assembled um, or fully assembled in the case of the front shock absorbers. Just waiting for the monocoque to be finished so that this can all be fitted in. And now that, that uh, the main chassis is finished, we're moving on to the assembly part. As I said, the next video in this series will be the final completed model. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on seeing that, you might as well subscribe to the channel. If you want to see an even bigger Formula 1 build, go and click on this image and check out the Rosso 1 8 scale Ferrari. Or if you want to see the previous video in this series, click on this one. Cheers.